What's up guys, my name is Connor and today I have a for you guys on the Rolex Milgauss reference number 116400GV. I'm going to be breaking down all the details of this watch. So if you guys do enjoy these kind of videos, make sure to like subscribe button as it really, really does help out my channel and give my videos to more people. And also if you guys are looking to buy anything, sell anything, make sure to reach out to my Instagram at Connor Langley and I'll be happy to help you guys there. With that said, let's get right into the review. Alright guys, so just before I begin breaking down some of the smaller details of this watch, I want to go over the retail cost as well as the market value. So the retail cost on this watch is going to be $8,300 USD, which really isn't too bad for a Rolex, and it does have a small markup from the retail cost. When I say small, it's going to be a few thousand dollars, because the market value of this watch brand new is going to be about eleven and a half thousand, while the market on an used version of this watch is going to be about ten and a half thousand. So you're making a few thousand dollars buying this watch, there is a decent wait list, but it's not going to be as long as some of the other watches, such as the Daytona. And taking a closer look at this watch, this watch is going to have a 40 millimeter oyster steel case and it's going to have the smooth bezel as you guys can see with its screw down case back as well as its self winding crown which you guys can see right there. It's going to have a green scratch resistant sapphire crystal face and it's going to be waterproof for a hundred meters or 330 feet. And then as far as the movement, it's going to be perpetual self winding movement and it's going to have a 48 hour power reserve making it a watch that's going to last you two days without having to wind it up i usually switch between watches and usually a lot of you guys do as well so obviously if you guys don't wear it for two days it's going to start resting meaning that the second hand is going to stop moving which stops the whole watch but once you wind it up i recommend winding it about 15 times ish it'll be good to go for another two days and you guys should have no issues with that and then as you guys can see we're going to have the oyster steel bracelet and the clasp is going to have a five millimeter comfort extension, meaning that right here, all you got to do is pull down and then you guys can adjust for five meters, making it fit perfectly to your wrist so that if it gets hotter or colder, your wrist expands or it shrinks a little bit, you guys can always get it to fit perfectly to your wrist. And then looking at the face, you guys are obviously going to have the black dial right there and the hands as well as the markers are going to be luminescent. So if it's dark outside, you guys can still see it when you guys focus on it. But like I mentioned in a lot of my videos, it's not going to be very bright. It's just going to be to where if you're focused on the watch, you're going to see it, but others around you aren't going to be like, oh, is your watch shining? It is not that bright. But trying it on for you guys, obviously you guys can see the crown on the clasp right there, as well as the oyster still bracelet. Obviously that middle link is going to be a lot more reflective than these sides. And then the green face right there, the crystal is going to be green. The face is going to be an intense black. You guys can see the three, six, and the nine are going to be orange. And if you guys look very closely at the second hand, it's going to be a lightning bolt. So this is very, very different than a lot of other Rolexes. If you just compare to more classic Rolexes like the Submariner right here, I also got a couple of Datejust right here. It's going to look very, very different than those watches, which makes it a little bit less sought after. But if your budget is in that $10,000 range or just around there, I think this is the perfect entry level watch as it's not going to be too expensive. If you guys change your mind, you guys will make some money on it. And the wait list is not going to be as long as a lot of other watches such as the Daytona. So obviously if you guys are into more exotic Rolexes and don't really want to have a Submariner like a lot of other people have, then this might be the perfect watch for you. And you guys can also see how the 40 millimeter case is going to look on my wrist. My wrist is very, very average size. And the crown right there is going to be a twin lock waterproof crown making it completely waterproof like I mentioned for 330 feet or hundred meters and so you pull it out once and that will allow you to wind the watch you pull it out again and that will allow you to adjust the time and all I recommend is that if you guys are gonna wear this watch in water you guys should feel very very comfortable but the biggest thing is just making sure that that crown is screwed down all the way but let me know what you guys think of this watch. I honestly think it is one of the best entry level Rolexes for anyone out there that doesn't mind a little bit more um, exotic look to a watch. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys wanna see on my channel. If you guys are at this point in the video, make sure to like subscribe button. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next video.